At Cincinnati Children's, our Brachial Plexus Center is one of only a few in the country to offer a team approach to diagnosing and treating children with brachial plexus injuries. There are five nerves that come out of the spinal cord. Those nerves combine like a highway interchange and then branch out to power the muscles of the arm and bring feeling back. That network is called a plexus, and because brachium is Latin for arm, the brachial plexus is that group of nerves for the arm. Generally, we see kids that have an injury to the brachial plexus, either caused by birth or some sort of traumatic injury, like an ATV accident or a car accident. The biggest risk factor is a thing called shoulder dystocia, where the baby's shoulder truly becomes impacted and it prevents the baby's delivery from the birth canal. Both arms are not moving the same way. Usually there's an asymmetry of motion and the affected arm is uh, usually held down by the side, not moving. One thing we can do is take kids that have a problem and make it better over time uh, and give them the best function that they possibly can. Treatments depend on the severity of your child's injury and might include therapy sessions or Botox treatment to balance the joints. The two main types of surgical options are reconstructing the nerves or addressing muscle, bone, and joint problems to restore function. A good serial physical examination in the first three months of life can tell the clinician basically how severe the injury is. The one thing that tends to predict ultimate recovery the best is the timing of recovery of elbow flexion. So children who bend their elbow against gravity for the first time within the first four weeks of life tend to go on to recover completely normal function. It is very much a team approach. A lot of times besides a physical exam we'll use some imaging and the electromyogram test to kind of help us make a decision. The team has worked to modify traditional surgery to better repair stiffness in kids' shoulder muscles. And in the lab, they are finding out more about the role of nerves in muscle growth, such as evidence that nerve injuries at birth prevent muscles from growing. There are a lot of unanswered questions when it comes to brachial plexus injuries, the best treatments, how to improve the outcomes. But with that, comes an opportunity to make significant improvements in the care of these children. We want to get as much function as we can for your child. We're not usually so good that we can make it normal. I wish we were so good that we made kids normal, but we make them measurably better. We just had a little girl um, in clinic who had had all five nerve roots affected where she had no movement at all in her arm, and we did a very complicated operation, and she is able to grab the lollipop we gave her and put it in her mouth with her injured arm, which made us really happy. Another version of a great day at work is to see that family, to see that tense, frightened mom and dad, and, and their newborn baby who has very real trouble and to try to uh, allay their fears, to try to, uh, to, to let them know that this is what we do. We see and take care of children just like your baby all the time and to, to try to bring some calm to the storm. To find out more about our Brachial Plexus Center, visit cincinnatichildrens.org slash brachial plexus.